this is the first key command that I think you really should learn in Illustrator. It allows you to toggle between preview mode and outline mode. In preview mode, all of the fills and strokes and everything that you apply to objects are visible. In outline mode, it strips it right down just to the paths. So for instance, right here, we have this black rectangle, but because of layer order, it's actually hiding some elements in the background. So by hitting command Y, which toggles between preview and outline, you can see all of the objects that are in behind. And now they're actually, it's, it's actually possible to select something. Whereas when you were in preview mode and you click the fill, the filled object here is actually blocking you from selecting what's in the background. So command Y and you can see what's in the background. The other thing that you can do with preview mode, uh, outline mode is troubleshoot paths. So here in preview mode, this path looks like it's a perfect square, but when you switch with command Y back to outline mode, oh, command Y there, you can see that the path is not complete. It's not a complete closed shape. So we can now pull up our pen tool and close this off. The other thing that I had here in this document was a straight point. The straight point is not visible in preview mode, but in outline mode, you can see these sorts of little problems and close those things up. Okay, so this is a nice and simple key command, but it's one that is very important. So what we do to create outlines in Illustrator is, first of all, in this situation, there's multiple lines of text. So we're gonna hit command A, which is select all. And then we're gonna hit command shift and O on the keyboard and that has created an outline of the text so the text is no longer editable you can't type anything new but now what you can do is you can send this out with the peace of mind knowing that it will look the same on everybody else's machine that you send it to there's no risk of the text substituting to something else to a different font the other thing that you can do now that you have outlines is you can do slight variations or customizations to the text now you can use a font as a starting point and customize it like that. So once again, we'll undo all of this. The key command is just command shift and O. In outline mode, you can see that the outlines are created there like that. So we'll undo that. There you see when text is live, it's solid black like that in outline mode doesn't matter what color you have selected, it will always look like this in outline mode unless you have created outlines with command shift O. It's a very powerful key command that everyone who uses Illustrator should know. So my assumption is that from other software, most people know copy, cut, and paste key commands. But in Illustrator, it's handy to know paste in front. Now what this allows you to do is to grab items, copy items, and paste them back in exactly where they started from. So say you wanna work on something, but you don't want another element to get in the way, you can go into your layers panel and hide an element or lock it. Um, but to work quickly, sometimes what I'll do is I'll grab something and I'll cut it with Command X so that it's out of the way I'll work on an object that was in behind it. And once I'm ready to put it back, if I just hit command V, which is paste, that object has shifted and that's not what I want. I want it to paste back in exactly where I cut it from. So with command F, it will paste in the front. So the layer order um, will have this object come in on top but it pastes back in at the exact location that you cut it from. So this works with cut and with copy. So say you had an object here, like this circle, and you copied it, so it's on your clipboard. If you hit Command F, paste in front, there's now an extra copy that's been placed directly on top of that first circle. So you could do this working on a document. You could just continue to paste in front because that circle is still on your clipboard. And you could keep adding in elements that were centered and remained in the same place that you picked it up from. So building complex documents, it's handy to have that for multiple reasons. 
the same works with command B. I don't use that as often. It's paste in back. So command B will put a circle at the back of the layer order. Um, good to know, but not as useful to me. Command F is the one that I go to a lot. So here's another simple key command that should be one of the first things that you pick up when you're learning Illustrator. Layer order is very important and it can be tedious to have a complicated document and to go through the layer panel and start changing layer order through here. So there's a really quick key command. It's command square bracket or command shift square bracket and it allows you to have an object selected and to send it backwards or bring it forwards through the layer order. So this rectangle here will select this and with command square bracket, I think it's the square bracket to the left, we can send it back through the layers one at a time. If we undo this, if we hit command shift square bracket left, it will send it right to the back. So you can have a very complicated document, all sorts of layers, and you can grab something and quickly send it to the back of the composition. So this is something that should become second nature to you that you don't even think about and you're just able to control where in a document your layers sit. The opposite bracket, the bracket that's facing on the, or is on the right hand side of the keyboard, has the opposite effect. If you have something selected that's in the back, you can bring it to the front one layer at a time with just command square bracket or command shift square bracket to bring it all the way to the front or send it to the back. So here we go again, transform again. This key command is one that I discovered years ago and I use this all the time. I've actually made two videos on my channel that use this. I'll probably use it again at some point, but here we are, transform again. I use this all the time to create these sort of repeating elements that are evenly spaced. So we'll grab a shape like this, our little command icon, and with command shift M, we'll pull up the move dialog box and we'll make the vertical move zero and the horizontal move half an inch, 0.5, and we'll click the copy um, button down here. And what that's gonna do is move this over half an inch and create a copy. So that one transformation is interesting, it's neat, but the transform again key command, command D, allows you to quickly create a whole lineup of these. Now. Obviously, we could go and create a pattern, um, but if you're working quickly, sometimes it's easier just to do things this way. So now we can group this, Command G, and Command Shift M pulls up that Move dialog box again, only this time we're going to move it down half an inch vertically, and we won't move it horizontally. And we'll copy it, and then Command D again, and you've created this perfect grid of icons very, very quickly. So I use this key command all the time, partnered with either radial transformations or just a normal move where I'm creating a series of copies very, very quickly. It's a powerful key command. And once I learned it, I never went back to creating copies manually. So that does it. Thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully you found it useful. I know key commands are very important in my workflow. They've made me a much more efficient designer and I just, I couldn't live without them. So these are my top five. I know they're probably honorable mentions should go out to command Z for undo and command S for save, but I figured most of you already knew those. So I was trying to give you something new that you could add to your toolbox to speed up your workflow. Let me know if I missed anything or if there's anything you think is more important than the ones that I included in this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Like I said, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this from me in the future. Anyway, I'm out. Off to work on the next project.